Let's read this problem. Given an integer array nums, return all the triplets nums i, j, and k such that i does not equal j, i does not equal k, and j does not equal k, and nums i, j, and k equal zero. Notice that the solution set must not contain duplicate triplets. This problem is often used as a test of algorithmic efficiency and is a common example of the k-sum problem. There are a few best practices to consider when solving the three-sum problem efficiently. First, let's look at the code. We sort the array and initialize an empty list to store the triplets. Then we get the length of the sorted array. Next, we iterate through the array until the third to last element, and we skip to avoid duplicates. We don't iterate through the array because it will violate the rule set in the problem. We guarantee that we have enough choices for j and k not to equal each other. Then we set the left pointer to the next element after i, and we set the right pointer to the last element. The main working code will be a loop that stops when the pointers cross each other. We first calculate the sum of the first triplet. If the sum is less than zero, increment the left pointer. If the sum is greater than zero, decrement the right pointer. If the sum is zero, then we have found our triplet, add it to the result list. In the else statement, we have to make sure we don't have duplicates for the left and right pointer. And finally, we move the left pointer forward and the right pointer backward and return. Let's consider this array and go through all the iterations. First, we add up i, left, and right, and we find that since the total is less than zero, the left is incremented by one. In the next iteration, we find out that the total is equal to zero. The while loops are executed to skip duplicate values. The left is incremented to three and the right is decremented to four. Finally, in the last iteration, we also find out that it is equal to zero, so we append the result. The while loops are executed to skip duplicate values, the left is incremented to 4 and the right is decremented to 3. And that's the idea behind k-sum problems. Go start my GitHub.